ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله صلوات الله والسلام عليه اما بعد يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارham ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله واحسن الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار ثم اما بعد الحمد لله على نعمة الاسلام والسنة All praise and thanks belong to Allah for guiding us to Islam and for guiding us to the sunnah <coughs> Ya ibadullah even in Rome we don't do as the Romans do Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says in his noble book كل نفس ذائقة الموت that every soul shall taste death I pause so that we may reflect because there are those from amongst us who they live their lives as is as if this eventuality is not applicable to them and our, it is our actions which scream this out although their tongues may not articulate it but we must know that each and every one of us we are only here but for a short period of time and based upon what we do here will determine our forever so anyone who wants to be successful they will have a plan they will have dreams goals and aspirations of that in which they hope to attain as muslims what we hope to attain what our life mission is has been clearly stated as it comes in the hadith that has been collected by muslim on the authority of Sufyan bin Abdullah Al-Thaqafi where he said qultu ya rasulullah quli fi al-islam qawlan la as'alu anhu ahadan ghayrak wa fi riwayah ba'dak he said o oh, messenger of allah give me a statement in islam in which i will have no need to ask anyone about it after you it comes in one narration other than you fa qala nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam so the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam he said unto him and this is our mission this is our goal the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam he said qul amantu billah thumma istaqim wa fi riwayah fa istaqim the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam he said say i believe in allah and then become upright say i believe in allah and then become upright it is not enough that we say we believe but we have to strive to become upright and that is why even in rome we don't do as the romans do we have to be upright upon our deen because our iman it is not that which will reside inside of a particular land our iman is not that in which is only located in a set number of countries but our iman it is that which we should carry with us that which which, which we carry with us wherever we may be because iman is qawlun bilisan 
عمل بالأركان اعتقاد الجنان يزيد بطاعة الرحمن وينقص بطاعة الشيطان because the iman it is a statement of the tongue it is actions upon the limbs it is a belief that resides inside of the heart it increases when one is obedient to the most merciful Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it decreases when one is obedient to the shaytan so our iman is that which is with us bidnillahi ta'ala just like the knowledge as Imam al-Shafi'i he mentions he says ilmi ma'i haythu ma tawajjahtu yanfa'uni qalbi wi'a'un lahu la batn al-sunduqi idha kuntu fi al-bayt fakan al-ilm fihi ma'i wa aw kuntu fi al-suq fakan al-ilm fi al-suqi Imam al-Shafi'i he mentions he says that my knowledge is with me wherever I turn it benefits me because my heart is the vessel that contains it and safeguards it and not the innermost portions of the book chest that box of book that people put books into safeguard them this is what he means he says if I was in the house then my knowledge is there with me in the house and if I was inside of the marketplace then my knowledge is in the marketplace this is the Muslim, and this is how the Muslim is. So it doesn't matter if they're in Mecca or Minnesota. It doesn't matter if they are in Medina or Manhattan. The Muslim is going to do what the Muslim does. He's going to act in a manner that is conducive to his Iman. He's going to act in a manner that is conducive to his values, as taught to us by the Kitab and the Sunnah, that in which the self of this Ummah they were upon. And this is why even in Rome, we don't do as the Romans do. Ya ibadullah. It is incumbent and it is a must that we strive to do those things in which will benefit us. That we hold on to our religion. Because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he told us, بدأ الإسلام غريبا وسيعود غريبا كما بدأ فطوبة للغرباء That Islam began strange and it shall return to being strange. So glad tidings to the strangers. Those strangers who hold on to their religion. Those strangers who do what's right when everyone else is doing what is wrong. This is why even in Rome, we don't do as the Romans do. It's not about what the majority is doing. Because as the Prophet ﷺ, he explained to us, we are going to be a gross minority. And thence, and, hus- and, 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 and therefore, he has named us as strangers. Strangers are not the majority. Strangers is not that which is trending. Strangers is not that which you see all the time. But it's that which is rare. And then Prophet ﷺ, he said, this is how the Islam shall return to being. So don't try and don't chase after trends. Don't look to see what this one and that one is doing and then try to model yourself after that. But model yourself after the kitab. Model yourself after the sunnah. Model yourself based upon what the salaf the salaf they were upon. This is the only means and the only way in which we will be able to be successful. This is the only way in which we will be able to be upright upon the religion. So being upright upon the religion is a goal that we shall all be striving to attain, to achieve. And that will require effort. That is not that which will be linked to a mere statement. It is not that which is linked to just mere and pure well-wishing. But we have to put forth that effort to do that which is correct so that we may be upright upon the religion. So that we may be religious in every which shape and sense of the word that we are religious because our beliefs are correct our statements are in line with that correct belief our actions are in line with that correct belief this is why even in Rome we don't do as the Romans do Bismillah alhamdulillah Assalatu wassalam ala rasulillah Nabihina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in wa man tamasaka bi sunnatihi ila yawmiddin thumma amma ba'd Ya ibadullah The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam this concept he drove it home so we have a metric a frame of reference, a formula by way in which we are to be successful, by way in which we are to be upright upon our religion. 
as it comes in a hadith عن أبي ذر ومعاذ بن جبل رضي الله تعالى عنهما أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال اتق الله حيث ما كنت the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم he said to fear Allah have taqwa of Allah wherever you may be وَأَتْبِعِ السَّيِّئَةَ الْحَسَنَةَ تَمْحُهَا And follow up a sin by doing a good deed. And that good deed, it will erase the sin. وَخَالِقِ النَّاسِ بِخُلُقِ حَسَنَ And interact with the people with good manners, outstanding character. This is our metric. This is the formula. The Muslim has to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. يجب على المسلم أن يتقي الله. The Muslim has to fear Allah subhanahu wa taala. بالفعل. By doing that in which Allah subhanahu wa taala has commanded. وترك. And by staying away from and abandoning that in which Allah wa taala has prohibited. فالتقوى فعل ما أمر الله به وترك ما نهى الله تعالى عنه. Because the تقوى it is doing that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us to do. And by staying away from that in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us to stay away from. This is taqwa. Allah ta'ala, he commands us to fear him. Allah ta'ala, he commands us to have this taqwa. Allah ta'ala, he says, fattaqullaha. So fear Allah. So we have to do that in which we have commanded to do to the best of our ability. And that which we have been prohibited from, then we stay away from it. We stay away from it. This is a taqwa. As the poet he mentioned, he said, خَلِّ الظُّنُوبَ صَغِيرَهَا وَكَبِيرَهَا فَذَاكَ تُقَى وَاصْنَعْ كَمَاشٍ فَوْقِ الْأَرْضِ الشَّوْقِ يَحْذَرُ مَا يَرَى وَلَا تَحْرِقَنَّ صَغِيرَةً فَإِنَّ الْجِبَالِ مِنَ الْحَصَى He said, and abandon, leave alone the sins. Leave alone sins. The little of it and the big of it. Because this is taqwa. And walk and act in a manner similar to the man who is walking on a path that is laden with thorns. Or harmful things which may injure his foot. How does one walk on that path? How does one walk down a path that is dangerous? Does they walk down that path haphazardly? Or do they walk down that path exhibiting extreme caution? He said, وَصْنَعْ كَمَاشٍ فَوْقِ الْأَرْضِ الشَّوْقِ يَحْذَرُ مَا يَرَى So walk and be like the one who was walking down a path that is laden with thorns. He's going to be very careful the way he places his foot. And do not underestimate the small sin. Because verily, the mountains are comprised of small rocks. This is the manner in which we are to be, ya ibadullah. We have to be of those who are striving to do what is right and strive to stay away from what is wrong. This is why even in Rome, we don't do as the Romans do. Because you're here in America, that's not an excuse. But we're here in America, brother. Okay, what does that mean? But we're here in America, brother. Okay, Allah is still Allah. But we're here in America, brother. Okay, the deen is still the deen. <coughs> but we're here in America, brother. Okay, the sunnah is still the sunnah. The Prophet Wasallam is still the Prophet Wasallam. But we here in America, brother, okay, what does that mean? She doesn't have to cover. You don't have to do what is this. They don't have to pray. They don't have to fight. They don't, huh? Fear Allah, wherever you may be. If we want to be successful, this is how we are to be. We have to adorn ourselves with the rules and the regulations of the deen of Al-Islam. Those who want to be happy. As Imam Sa'di, he mentions, he says, Sa'id al-ladina tajannabu subul al-rada. وَتَيَمَّمُوا لِمَنَازِلِ الْوَرْضُوَانِ فَهُمُ الَّذِينَ قَدْ دَخْلَسُوا فِي مَشْعِهِمْ مُتَشَرِّعِينَ بِشِرْعَةِ الْإِيمَانِ He said that happy are those, that they are going to be happy. In one wording it says, سُعِدَ الَّذِينَ That happy are those. In one wording, they will be happy. Another one, happy are those. In any event, who are those ones who are happy? Happy are those who stay away from the lowly paths. Happy are those who stay away from the low paths, from the evil way, from the way of corruption, from the way of sin and transgression, from the ways of the kuffar. 
Happy are those who stay away from the evil ways, who stay away from the lowly morals. And you can keep adding on to that, so on and so forth. Happy are those who stay away from the filth. And they submerge themselves in that which Allah Ta'ala is pleased with. They are those who they are sincere in their striving, in their movements, in their going abouts, in their transversing, in, in, in their traversing. They are sincere, they are upon ikhlas, they are upon the deen of Islam, they are upon the sunnah. These are the only ones who are going to be happy. Those who they live their lives in accordance to the legislation of the most merciful. This is why even in Rome we don't do as the Romans do. Because they're doing evil, we don't do evil. This is why we're here right now in Jumu'ah. They're not in Jumu'ah. But walillahi alham, Allah Ta'ala has given us the tawfiq to be in Jumu'ah. This is why shortly, bithnillahi ta'ala, we will meet with the month of Ramadan. We'll be fasting. They will not be fasting. We'll be fasting. Walillahi alham. So doing what they do is not an option. Just like it's not an option in Jumu'ah, you being here. Just like it's not an option whether you're going to fast or not on Ramadan. So how is it and why does it become an option when we get online? So now we want to tweet like them. We want to get on TikTok like them. We want to be on Twitter like them. They do a dance challenge. We want to do the dance challenge. They do corruption. We want to do corruption. And just and then show the whole world. where Billah. So even the manner in which that we use social media, it has to be different. We don't do what they do. They don't do what we do. So we should use it in a manner to spread the good. They spread evil, but that's what they do. We don't do what they do. And this is but an example. Utilize that as an example, as a frame of reference. And structure the whole of your life in accordance to the deen of Al-Islam. And hold on, even though you may be a stranger. Hold on, even though it may be hard. Hold on, because it's going to be hard. And you're going to be a stranger. You're going to be the odd man out. You're going to be the odd woman out. This is why our women, they cover. These ones, they don't cover. Our women, they have modesty. These ones, they don't have modesty. Or we should have modesty. Both men and women. Brothers, you have to be modest too. You have to dress modestly as well, brothers. Modesty is not that which is the sole property of the women. No, but all of us, we have to be modest. Reflect on this. And remember that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Man tashabbaha bi qawmin fahuwa minhu. That whoever imitates a people is from them. Whoever imitates a people is from them. So make sure you're imitating people that you're going to be comfortable being around them on the day of judgment. Make sure you imitate people that you'll be happy to be raised in their ranks on the day of judgment. Make sure you're imitating people who their final abode will be the Jannah. Make sure you love a people who their final abode will be the Jannah. Because as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Al Mar'u Ma'a Man Ahab, that a man will be with those whom he loves. So who do you love? Aqimu salah.